Hello. After seeing that video, I don't know, maybe I don't need to speak anymore, but my name is Tony Murphy, and as James said, I was born in Killarney, about 20 miles from this very stage. I found solace and great inspiration in the surrounding natural beauty and some of the historic landmarks, some of which were uh, or can be dated back to prehistoric times. It was and remains the grand cathedral of my imagination. That was the start of my interest in environmental science and research. And here I am now on the very stage that one of the most famous NASA astronauts, Neil Armstrong, spoke in 1997. I truly am standing on the shoulders of a giant tonight, and I think it's very apt that we have the moon right behind us here as well. I currently work with and for an amazing group of international colleagues in an innovative and exciting science and education program called GLOBE. GLOBE is an acronym and means global learning and observations to benefit the environment. Across the seven continents, GLOBE students Teachers and citizen scientists take observations of their local environment using specific scientific protocols of measurement across four areas or spheres. Atmosphere, the air. Biosphere, life. Hydrosphere, water. And pedosphere, soils. This information is entered into a global database which currently has over 230 million, 230 million measurements, accessible by anyone, anywhere, including you tonight, that wants to understand their local and regional environments in a global context. In 2016, the program released an app called Globe Observer. Now, citizen scientists of all ages and all around the world are getting involved in GLOBE data collection and reporting measurements of cloud cover, mosquito breeding sites, tree height, and land cover. Now, perhaps you're surprised about NASA's engagement and support of the GLOBE program. When you think of NASA, you normally think of rockets, galaxies, deep space, going to the moon, or reaching for the stars. Currently, NASA, and often in collaboration with other international space agencies, have about 20 satellites orbiting the Earth specifically. It says on NASA web website that NASA uses the vantage point of space to increase our understanding of our home planet. It monitors Earth's vital signs from land, air, and space with a fleet of satellites and ambitious airborne and ground-based observation campaigns. NASA develops new ways to observe and study Earth's interconnected natural systems with long-term databases and freely shares this unique knowledge and works with institutions around the world." End quote. Now, while Earth observing satellites give us a big picture of what's going on, they sometimes miss those finer details. Satellites can only capture a top-down view of our planet. For example, conditions like, a, like clouds in a snow-filled area can make it difficult for the satellites to distinguish between what's snow and what's a cloud. But when you combine the top-down view of the satellite with the ground-up observations of the GLOBE students and citizen scientists, we get a far more detailed and accurate view of the actual conditions. GLOBE's other sponsoring agencies, the National Science Foundation, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and the State Department, 
are united in the goal of helping us all better understand how the various elements of the Earth systems influence weather, climate, food safety, and public safety. Just think about the quality, just think about air quality, hurricanes, droughts, flooding, and the impacts of those on our society. In the past 27 years, since the founding of the GLOBE program on Earth Day 1995, GLOBE students and others, as I've said, have contributed over 230 million environmental measurements, including rainfall, cloud cover, air and water quality, land cover, to this global database. Now I'm talking here primarily about students in middle school and high school, or as we'd say here, secondary school. And I do want to thank them for all of their efforts in collecting this data. Ireland was, one of, was among one of the first countries to join the program in 1995. Now under the Environment, Environmental Education Unit of Antashka, GLOBE is up and running in the country. Students from 74 GLOBE schools are collecting data and laying the groundwork for the GLOBE Ireland Air Quality Campaign funded by the Irish Environmental Protection Agency. This educational project is designed to raise awareness of air pollution, to engage students in the scientific process, to promote action around clean air, and to showcase the potential of citizen science to gather unique data and insights into our environment. This culminates each year with a celebration event where students from schools around the country present their results to staff from Antashka, the EPA, and the Department of Education. It's a joy and honor, great honor for me to attend this event, albeit virtually, every year. Now you can imagine my great pride when in 2018, this native son returned to Killarney to host a world gathering of over 400 students, teachers, scientists, international partners, and support staff representing more than 125 countries that made up the GLOBE community at the time. They were participating in a week-long experience called the GLOBE Learning Expedition, which you saw in the video here, which occurs every four to five years. These students were to present their scientific research while interacting with peers from around the world. They learned about data collection, analysis, and how to engage in collaborative research with each other. They also learned about each other's lives and culture and made friends for life. No matter their background, they learned and worked together by using their common language of science. They even undertook projects in Killarney National Park, bringing back even more memories to me of my youth. Now you too can become part of our worldwide community by downloading the Globe Observer app. It's fun and it's easy to do, and you can contribute this important data for environmental science. The only one caveat is to download the app and to be able to take measurements and enter those, you need to be in a globe country. And here in Ireland, we are in a globe country. Now, each one of us here has a story to tell. From the students reporting on the air quality in Ireland, to students in Africa and the Asia Pacific regions on the elimination of mosquito breeding sites. They're all telling a story. It's their story. Yes, it has the scientific process in it, and that's very important, but it also is about community, legacy, and about the importance of 
positive action, discovery, and change. Who knows who will be inspired to become a scientist or an engineer or a doctor because of being part of this program? Surely it is the duty and the responsibility of the current generation to help, support, and encourage the next generation in work towards minding and improving the ecosystem of the one of the one and only planet that we have in the solar system. And how can you help here tonight? Well, I know we're all very busy, but I want to encourage you to take a little time each day to observe the natural influences around you and record them, not just for you, but for the larger community and for your children and your grandchildren. Every time a person in a globe country downloads the app and reports it and reports data using it, the globe community becomes even stronger. You're now part of us. By adding data to the database, you're adding your story to our understanding of our environment and the changes, both natural and human, that can affect it. I'm often asked to evaluate the success of the GLOBE program. The number of countries, schools, st uh, students, teachers, and measurements, well, they're all quant quantifiable. They're data-driven. However, I believe there is something more to it than numbers, but not quite as tangible. I believe the real strength of our program is simply and truly our global community, current and growing. Everyone who has a desire to preserve what is good and beautiful about our planet, everyone, willing, everyone who commits to understanding what makes a healthy Earth system, and everyone who is willing to share their knowledge and expertise with others. Of all the comrades that here I had, they're sorry for my going away. And all the sweethearts that here I had, they'd wish me one more day to stay. Looking at this video about the Globe Learning Expedition in Ireland is always emotional for me. Not just because I'm a proud Kerry and Irishman, but also because I have the great honor to work with so many incredible people of all ages from all around the world who are part of this amazing globe community and all reaching for the same goal. Through the globe program, we weave our knowledge of the natural world based on facts learned from observation and experimentation with the wisdom of many distinct cultures and find ourselves better equipped to address global issues than we could ever do alone. Thank you for your kind attention. GLOBE looks forward to working with you and hearing from you very soon. Thank you.